Hello, I'm Dean Mitchell and you are watching The Stocks in Action. The S&P ASX 200 is up today, gaining 17.80 points or plus 0.25% to 7,081.30 just after 10.30 a.m. Australian Eastern Time. The top performing stocks in this index are Sims Limited up 9.28% and Eagers Automotive Limited up po- Pardon me, 4.25% respectively. Over the last five days, the index has gained 1.54% and is currently plus 0.00% off its 52 week high. Nine of 11 sectors are higher, along with the SP ASX 200 index. The utilities is the best performing sector, gaining. 0.63% and rebounding from its recent decline. The sector is off 1.52% for the past five days. But before we go through today's stocks in action, let's take a look at this important update on the travel bubble. Two-way travel between Australia and New Zealand is now underway, with close to 15 destinations set to have direct routes to their trans tasman neighbours. On Monday morning, Qantas launched its first quarantine-free international flight to New Zealand, nearly 400 days since international borders first closed. 630 Qantas and Jetstar workers will resume normal duties, with the nation's largest airline group servicing 29 flights a week, including a new route between the Gold Coast and Auckland. Qantas Chief Executive Alan Joy said it was a momentous occasion in the nation's recovery from the virus. Prices the pandemic, New Zealand was Australia's second largest source of international visitors and is expecting to increase the number of flights once demand decreases for the winter ski season. And now let's take a look at Los Cerros Limited, which has received assay results from further three drill holes lately concluded at the Tesorito Prospect, where drilling is continuing. The results have prompted another series of stop-out holes to identify the limits of near-service mineralisation, and all assay results have reported substantial widths of lower as well as higher grade gold. This makes the area of interest bigger in the directions the company has recently tested. Los Cerrotes Limited stock was traded at 0.220 at 10.32 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. Moving on to the next stock, and Chalice Mining Limited has inked binding agreements to acquire four further crucial private properties at its fully owned Dulamar Nickel Copper in Western Australia. These properties span over a total area of around 723 hectares, and the total consideration includes 11.25 million Australian dollars in cash and 1.33 million in fully paid ordinary Chalice shares. With the latest acquisition, Chalice Mining has acquired a total of around 1,668 hectares of private land at the southern end of the Julemar project, covering all the current known mineralisation at the Goneville intrusion. Chalice Mining Limited stock last traded at 6.550 just after 10.30 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. Our next stock is Galaxy Resources, which has provided a quarterly report on activities undertaken in the March 2021 quarter across its project portfolio. During the quarter, Galaxy Resources shipped 29,974 of spodium concentrate, averaging 5.9%, while another shipment of 15,700 DMT was delayed until early April due to late arrival of the vessel. Presently, Galley Resources is experiencing strong demand for its spodium concentrate amid growing worldwide EV sales that boost the demand for lithium chemicals, resulting in the increase of utilisation of spodium converters in China. Galaxy Resources is aiming for sales to roughly match production and shall keep on selling on a spot basis as the market recovery persists. Galaxy Resources Limited shares traded at 3.620 Australian dollars just after 10.30 a.m. Moving on now, and Frontier Resources Limited shared its quarterly results as per which the company has closed the quarter with 3.34 million Australian dollars in cash. Also, the report stated that the firm is focused on finding top quality quartz vein gold within its Tolkuma mining lease in Papua New Guinea. 
Also, the release stated that during the quarter, Frontier Resources had released its final results from its October November mapping and sampling program at the Kimono Prospect, situated on the eastern boundary of the mining lease 104. Total of 102 spoil, 102 rock chip, and 205 chip channel trend samples were collected. The Tassie vein was found in the upper reaches of the main Holsiger Creek. In January 2021, Frontier Resources remobilized to Kimono for a second phase of follow-up trench sampling program at the Kimono Tassie vein areas to define targets and complete regional geological mapping. Meanwhile, the last traded price of the stock Frontier Resources Limited on the ASX was 0.019 per share just after 10.30 a.m. And finally, ASX 200 listed company Eagers Automotive Limited has shared that it expects to record an underlying operating profit before tax of 98 million Australian dollars from continuing operations for the March quarter. On a statutory basis, the net profit before tax from continuing operations for the three months is likely to be 105 million Australian dollars. Eagers Automotive elaborated in the release that strong market dynamics completed by outstripping supply combined with the ongoing benefits of our material cost out program have triggered these results. Meanwhile, the last traded share price of Eagers Automotive Limited was 16.220 Australian per share just at, after 10.30. That is all for now. I'm Dean Mitchell. Keep watching Kalkine TV.